Welcome back to Just Scribble. Today I thought I would talk to you about some new Bibles that I got and how some of them fit in some covers that I have in case you were looking for some Bibles to fit in some of your covers. This is going to be a multi-part series because I have some additional steps that I want to do on one of the Bibles that I thought I would do with you guys in a separate video. And then I have another insert coming related to one of the Bibles. And so when it comes, I thought I would share that with you and how it works with the Bible and how it fits in the cover with the Bible. But for today, I just wanted to show you what I got. I will share links to all the items that I share with you today in the description box down below in case you are looking to get one yourself. So I'm going to start with this cute little teeny tiny Bible. This is an English Standard Version. It is the New Testament. It has little print, but it's actually quite legible as you can see. I bought it with the intention of having a pocket Bible with me for when I needed one or wanted to take one to church or to funeral services or just have one on me at different times. I thought it might fit in a micro traveler's notebook. This is from Speckled Fawns. However, it is a little bit too tall as you can see. And so it doesn't fit in the micro, it fits in the width, but not in the height. So if you bought this and wanted it to fit in a cover very slim like this, you would have to get something custom made that would just slightly higher than the dimensions of a micro that Speckled Fawns sells. And I'll put those dimensions in the description box down below. It does fit in a passport cover, but it's narrower than passport inserts. And so there will be extra space around it. So this one is from Maker's South. It is a classic, similar measurements to the Traveler's Company Midori passport. And so you'll see that if I were to stick it, just gonna stick that there and put elastic in the center just to show you guys. If I were to stick it in this passport, traveler's notebook by itself. There's a little bit of space here. It doesn't really bother me, but if it bothered you, you would want to get one that was special sized or cut down. But if you were to put it in there and jump band it and put it with something else as well, like an insert or some dashboards or add a pen loop, then you would have space to do that. And so it would fit nicely. I don't have a pen that is the right size with me, but I'm just going to grab a Twisby Eco because I have it right there. But if you had a pen loop, you could put an insert and a dashboard and a pen loop in there and you could put them together and make a little Bible set. It will also work similarly. This is a Chic Sparrow Passport Deluxe Traveler's Notebook. It will work similarly in that. Let's do it in the front cover. You could put it and slip it into the secretarial pocket like that and still have inserts or your wallet and it would fit in there with an insert and your pen. So you could actually carry it with you in your passport traveler's notebook and it would be quite nice or you could carry it by itself. I'm actually going to be carrying it by itself temporarily and then I'm going to be attempting to make a custom cover for it for myself just to try it out and test it because I have some scrap remnant leather from Chic Sparrow that I had purchased and I thought this would be a good thing to use some of the larger pieces for. So that is my little pocket New Testament Bible. The next one is this slim New Living Translation Bible. This is the New Testament with Psalms and Proverbs. It is similar in size to the Hobonichi Weeks. It is slightly shorter and slightly narrower, but similar width. And so this is my gratitude Hobonichi Weeks in a Chic Sparrow Rosewood Weeks cover. And I actually keep them together in there and they fit nicely together. I don't put this on the elastic because I don't like it on the paper and I like to be able to just pull it out when I want it. I could tuck it in the pocket as well, the front cover, but for me, I just kind of like to tuck it in there and wrap my elastic around it and be done. But it will also fit in a 
personal traveler's notebook as well. This is a personal insert from Chic Sparrow. I believe these have been discontinued, so I don't think you can buy them anymore, but there are personal inserts from a lot of insert makers. And you'll see that it is basically the same height and just slightly narrower than a personal insert. And so it really is a great option for that as well. Let me move my weeks aside. This is my personal Bennett from Chic Sparrow. And so if you were to keep it in there with a traveler's notebook insert, it is quite perfect. You could fit a couple of inserts, you could put dashboards, you could stick this cover and you could actually keep it inside that front pocket. You could also put it in the secretarial pocket and it fits quite nicely and you would have room for a couple of inserts and your pen. I really like this little one and keeping it with my gratitude journal seems very appropriate to me. I may actually cover this with stays on ink and dye it because uh, pink is not really my color. And so I may end up dyeing it, but for right now I have left it the way that it is. And I love having it with my gratitude journal. So that was Bible number two. The third Bible is this one, which is an English standard version as well. This is actually not the full Bible. This is the Psalms. Show you the first page. I bought this one for a couple of reasons. One is that I love Psalms and I liked the large size in here. The paper is a little bit thicker, so I could actually write in journal on this if I wanted. But this also has a print on the cover that is similar to the print that my mom's bedding set was before she passed away. And so it kind of spoke to me when I saw it online and I decided to buy it. I have been keeping it in my Chic Sparrow Fergus B6 folio. It is a B6 size Bible and I'm actually keeping it with only one side in the folio. And there is a reason for that because I want to see this cover because it reminds me of my mom. And so I have been keeping it like this and it really works great. I do have a Bible journaling insert that is coming that is five by seven B6 size and I'm planning on keeping them together and I'm hoping that it will work and fit. And when it comes, I will do another video showing you guys how that fits together. But this is how I've been keeping it. You could put the other side in to here and create like a leather book jacket for it but it is a little bit thicker than what the folios are designed for so it will take a little bit of time to work the leather and get it to really lay right but for me personally i wanted to keep an insert on this side for journaling and to have the psalms on this side where i could see the pretty co cover and i think that the fergus color really looks quite nice with the print of this particular version you could put this in a b6 traveler's notebook as well this is a classic Fraser Outlander Fraser from Chic Sparrow, and you could very easily put the elastic through the front and back covers. Oops, sorry about that. And create a little traveler's notebook cover with it. But I much prefer it in the folio for me. I think it's a better fit, and I like that the colors go really well together. It gave me a very good purpose for my Fergus folio, which I am in love with. And I really like the two of them together. So that is my Psalms that is in a B6 size. The last two pieces kind of go together. So this is a Christian standard Bible. She reads the truth. And I bought this as a study Bible. It does have thin paper, but it's supposed to work well for journaling and such. And it has timelines and maps and other additional pieces in it that make it perfect for a study Bible. And I'm looking forward to getting into it and starting to use it. I opted for the hardcover version instead of the full leather cover soft version because I thought this color was just gorgeous. And I decided that I wanted to put tabs on it. So I bought these tabs from Bibles and Coffee. So Bibles and Coffee sells Bibles, but they also sell 
Bible tabs, some of which are pre-made and pre-colored. And although they were gorgeous, I was very intrigued by this set because these are DIY watercolor Bible tabs. And so you actually watercolor these yourself and then you put them onto your Bible. And so in a separate video, I am going to watercolor these with you guys and then show you guys how they adhere to your Bible and how to install them. I probably won't show the entire set installing it because it's a lot of tabs, but I did want to show you guys how the watercolors work on them and also how they attach to the Bible. I thought they were pretty cool and I liked the idea of customizing and doing the colors myself and kind of putting my own personality on it and having that in my Bible. So these are the tabs that I bought. I will put links down below to them in case you wanted to get some for your Bible as well. And I may get another set at a future time, but for right now, they are going to be for my study Bible. Those are my most recent Bible purchases that I wanted to share with you guys because I wanted to show you guys some Bibles and options that fit in different Traveler's Notebooks and how they fit and tell you that I was going to be doing a separate video watercoloring my tabs and attaching them to my She Reads the Truth study Bible and another video when I get my Bible journaling insert to show you how that works with my Psalms. I hope you enjoyed this video sharing my newest Bibles that I have acquired over the last couple of weeks. I know it's something a little bit different, but I hope you liked it. Please don't hesitate to comment below if you have questions about any of the items that I talked about in this video. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss future videos and don't forget to just scribble.